guys, how are y'all doing today? Thank you for joining me here today. My name is Stephanie. I'm also known as Glitzy Gem. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Also, give my video a thumbs up. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you. Mwah. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for being huge loyal supporters of my channel. And I'm here to share with you guys a mystery bundle that I received, you know, from Hank and Henry. Who knows Hank? Who still knows Hank and Henry? <laughs> Leave me your comments down below. Um, I really thought Hank and Henry was a really good um, brand. I haven't really tried too much of their products, but um, they're really hitting the market with BoxyCharm whenever BoxyCharm was around. So when they came up with a mystery bundle, I was like, oh, okay, let me take a look at the mystery bundle. So I got the, the cheapest one they had. They had a $37 one. They had a $57 one. They also had another one that was, um, like, I think close to $100. I think it was $100. And I was like, nope. I'm going to get me the, and you're supposed to get seven, you're supposed to get, get seven products in there. Not five. You're supposed to get seven. And I paid $37, so... I'm going to see what all they sent me because, you know, they sent it to me in a priority mail box instead of one of their own boxes. So I'm kind of, you know, kind of, you know, wondering, you know, was it supposed to be sent in a priority box or was it supposed to have been sent in one of their boxes, but something happened to their box that got damaged and now the only thing they had to do was, the only thing they could do was send it to me in a... I just hope nothing's damaged. I just hope nothing's damaged. I have not had a chance to take a look at this box because um, I just didn't have a, I just didn't have a chance. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, we see this piece of paper right on top, but you know, anybody can just put a piece of paper on top from you know an old box. All right, let's dive right into this, guys. Let's see if this is even worth my $37 that I paid for in this box. If there's anything in here that's interesting to me. Okay, so first off, we got some whew, some really nice, well, really big, huge, dramatic, premium luxe lashes. Uh, they're, what is this? This is Florence or oh, Flamenco. Oh, Flamenco. Flamenco lashes. Look how huge these are. I mean, I I, I like huge lashes, lashes, but these are huge. Like, I like the glam. And I know these are glam, but I think these are going to be kind of too big for my eye, from for my, for my lashes, you know. But, um, okay, so we got, we got some lashes, okay. All right, what else did they send us in a $37 box? They sent me a... Luster Glows. Ooh, okay, good for the summer. Uh, light gold. Oh, don't tell me this is a highlighter, like a liquid highlighter illuminator. Oh, it's um, it's an illuminating primer. Wow, we got illuminating primer. What's going on? Hello, can okay, I'm excited now? Oh, look how beautiful this is. Look at this. I love the color. And the packaging, this is like the uh, crystal frosted glass. And this is called, it's in the shade, it's gold illuminating, illuminating primer. So, ah, yay. I wonder if it, rem if it reminds me of the, well, I wonder if it reminds y'all. Because that reminds me of maybe like, you know, how Elf, Elf has their own, like, glow priming product but it's like for foundation and Hank and Henry has their own glow product you know and it's a primer so I think hopefully the primer will work best for leaving your skin looking dewy you know doing glowy okay so that's two products the third product in here is called an eye and cheek lip high and cheeks eye and cheeks lips eyes cheeks and lips and I think I need to get Miss Piggy out because this is going to be, oh, it's going to take a little longer. Because, I mean, everything looks like it's shrink wrapped, you know. So I'm going to get Miss Piggy in my, Miss Piggy in my box cutter, a pink box cutter. And I call her Miss Piggy, if y'all haven't heard the story, is because Miss Piggy, when I would watch Miss Piggy, 
you know, she is very overprotective over Kermit the Frog. And she don't cross her because she is sharp like a knife. She will cut you. You get in her way. Mm -mm. Don't want to get in her way. So that's why I call my, my box cutter Miss Piggy. Not only because it's pink, because it's sharp. <laughs> so this, um, so this is the packaging. See little holographic backgrounds. To it is called the Cream Mousse Lip Iron Cheek. So what color is this? What shade? Even if it's brown, I like brown because I think brown will flatter my skin tone. Oh, I gotta twist it. Twist it, twist it. Oh, it's a nice shade. Oh, it's not bad. It's like a nice like chocolate uh pecan colored, you know. It says three, three items. Okay, three items for $37. Okay, getting close. Four, this is the fourth item here is the color canvas paints. Oh, this is the multi-use cream. It is in the shade purple. What is this for? What is this for? I don't know what this is for. Uh, let me see. It says here, uh, squalene. Why would you need squealing in a multi-use cream? Color canvas paint. What? I'm not understanding. Uh, what is this? Hold on. Let me read. It's to correct the conceal. It says it's for... It's a multi-use cream. But, uh... Guys, it's a multi-use... Oh, it don't even have a seal in it. It's purple what is that that's how the purple looks like you can see that let me swatch it for you guys what is this guys I, I've never had anything like this before and I'm a little excited about it but what is it this is my fourth item in the box and I just want to be prepared to use this properly now it says to conceal, to correct and conceal. <laughs> so maybe it's for like, um, I don't know, maybe it's for like under eye circles that are, you know, really dark or maybe some areas that you need to conceal. Like if you're like me, like I have a lot of um, skin texture, but look, it's really on there really permanently. Hopefully it does. I don't understand. It's a cream, so it shouldn't affect my foundation, should it? I don't know. So that's too... Four, and here's the fifth item supposedly there's supposed to be like seven products in here uh, that's that's seven products in total I think I'm not sure if it's seven products apart from like five more products or I have to look on I have to look online and see if I need I need more products in this because this is four products this is the fifth product called it's an eyeshadow palette I think it's called it's an eyeshadow palette it's called me Los Angeles pillow princess this is an eight eyeshadow palette so let's go ahead and open her up see how miss pillow looks like let me see how she looks like oh, guys i don't know i'm confused am i supposed to have had five plus seven or seven in total i'm gonna have to i don't know have to look up online okay so This is how the packaging looks like. It's a sleeve. Okay. It reminds me a lot of like, you know, your usual typical eyeshadow palettes that you would get like from Ipsy whenever you get like the Ipsy Glam bag, you know. Um, not too... doesn't look like it's anything too fancy as far as the quality goes on the eyeshadows i don't see anything special about them they're all mattes we have one satin shimmer and then we have one regular shimmer and they're all mattes but to me the quality just by looking at it the quality just doesn't look like it speaks like it's like of high i don't know i guess i have to try it out i can't really judge the book by its cover but i've seen other uh, types of uh, eyeshadows and 
you know, that are, you know, that are of good quality and these kind of look like they're mediocre. So we'll see. It might, it might not be. So that's five products, five. And then we have six and seven. So I have an invoice here. I think the invoice will tell me what, sh what I, what all I, what all I should be. All I should get, or what all it should be in here. Just tell me I got the premium mystery box, which is a $37 box, and I can't see like how many items I'm supposed to have in here. Well, I guess seven because I did read that we're supposed to get like seven products, so that's five. Now we're gonna go into the sixth product here. Oh my gosh, they just get me, they just gave me seven lashes. Now they're giving me a whole, a whole case of lashes. <laughs> Of the same kind. Oh my god! I. It's nice that they give, they're giving me lashes. You know, I'm just surprised that they gave me like so many. I'm like I'm I'm not I'm not complaining. I like it. It's just, you know, these are like really big of lettering, but I will work with them. Shoot, I, I love me some lashes, so I'll wear them whether they're big, small, natural you know, glam, <laughs> I will wear them. Okay, so that's the sixth item. And then the last item in this box is a Luster Dew highlighter. Whoa, okay. That's not bad. A Luster Dew highlighter. So what is that? <laughs> so what is that? Lester Do Highlighter. Huh. It says it's a Cleopatra. Wow. Trying to flatter me. Is Hank and Harry Hank and Harry trying to flatter me? Calling me Cleopatra. Look at that gold, guys. Look at that gold. Look at that gold powder. Oh. I got the little owl in the inside. Wow. Okay. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, you guys. So that is everything in this mystery bundle. I think the $37 that I paid for it was worth my money was worth what I got. Um, they could have gone a little better on the eyeshadow palette, but everything else that they gave me, you know, the primer, the glowing primer, they gave me the set of lashes, they gave me this powder, they gave me this lip and cheek, this lip, cheek, and eye duo, I mean, trip, uh, trio, uh, they gave me a purple cream. Um, even though they may not be my forte, like maybe, I don't really use these too much you know I really don't use uh, I might you know I'll use the lashes but you know they were kind of big and even though I might not use like the purple cream but you know I'm not used to using them but if I didn't have any makeup at all like if I wasn't like you know if I never had a YouTube channel and I didn't have any makeup at all I would be ecstatic getting this receiving this in them in my $37 subscription box uh, because you know I am getting an eyeshadow palette I'm getting a primer that makes your skin look glowy and I am getting a um, they already said about the powder I think the powder is the one that really caught my attention was the powder uh, you leave me your comments down below what was your favorite item out of this box do you think it was worth the $37 I thought it was you know if it was something that I would use like on a regular basis, but I think the eyeshadow palette would have done it for me if they would have given me like a better eyeshadow palette. Cause like I said, this one just kind of, and then this kind of threw me off, you know, the cream, the purple cream corrector. I've really never worn that before. And it says it's for, it's a paint and it's supposed to be, for, it's a multi-use cream. So that really confuses me. So, but I think the glow primer and the I think the primer and what else did I say the powder is really is what really got me it really really caught my attention so I don't know I 
I think I got my money's worth. I think I did. So, I mean, they might still have them on sale on their site. You can go online if you like and look them up and, and buy yourself a mystery bundle. But, uh, yeah, leave me your comments down below. What did you think about this box? Did you like it? Uh, was there anything, you know, or would you pass up on this box? What did you think? It was just mediocre? It was just, eh? I don't know. Um... I really can't judge it too much because like I said, I mean, if I judged it by the eyeshadow palette, I would, I think they could have given me a better eyeshadow palette than this. Um, not to say that this isn't good. It's just, I've seen these types of like formulas, like in my Ipsy Glam bags, you know, like the trend, like the trend beauty. It reminds me of like the trend beauty type of quality and their quality of trend beauty is okay. It's just not the best. And I know Hank and Henry comes out with really nice eyeshadow palettes. And they, they do have really nice, you know, uh, you know, eyeshadow palettes that are like from their brand. And it will say Hank and Henry. But this one did not say, say Hank and Henry. It just said Me Los Angeles Pillow Princess. Even though it could be by Hank and Henry. But it just looks kind of like, like, I know it's an indie brand, but it looks like a really, like a really low, like a really on the indie, really low indie brand side to me. Um, I feel like I can, I can get this like, like at the drop shop for like $5, you know, this palette. But other than that, I guess everything was okay. I mean, I don't know. You tell me guys, what are your opinions about, what are your opinions and your thoughts on this box? All right, um, I'll leave that to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me here today. And I hope to see you in my next video. Love you all. Have a great, wonderful day. Bye.